As you flew back into town, did you think back to 35 years ago or so when you first came to Cincinnati? I'm, I'm kind of wondering what your emotions are as you came back to this town. Well, I, I've been doing that for about the last three weeks. You know, it's funny. You know, I walk every morning, early in the morning, so it's dark out. And then, you know, you, you have things to think about when you're walking. And I've thought about it so much. I, I try to wonder how and why I was the one chosen. I don't mean to get into weird things or things like that, but I was specially chosen to come here. I don't know why, but I know this, that uh, Bob Housen had the insight to know and felt like I was the one that could direct what he had at this moment and what was coming. He must have had a sense. He, he had to have a sense. I thought he was crazy. I'm not kidding you. I thought, I said, the man's got to be totally out of his mind. I've never managed above, well, double A. I managed triple A with uh, Toronto one year, but basically I never managed above double A. And he's uh, taken me and turning this club over to me. Uh, me and him, it's funny, I, what a relationship we've had. Not when I was managing here, he's very tough. He's tough in the sense that he's very strict on how you do things. And I learned so much from him on watching how he did things. And you know, the funny part of him, I even watched when he would go on an elevator he said, how did you know? He'd let all the people that work with him go on first, and then he'd go on last. I said, that's a marvelous thing he does there. He, he lets his people know. So me and Bob talk now, I would say, never less than every, every two weeks. And uh, he's doing well, except he is problem walking. And that's why he couldn't come here today. But he is, uh, I told him, you'll be here today. This is very special to me. So would you say your greatest strengths not was just, not just baseball knowledge, but the ability to deal with people like maybe you learned from Bob Housen? Yeah, I think, I think my strongest strengths are coming from who I am and the parents I was raised by. See, I never was afraid of anything. My daddy always said, don't ever be afraid of anything, but always make sure you treat people the way they're supposed to be treated. And basically, I, I think I did real close to that. You know, we all mess up somewhere or do that. <laughs> yes, we do. But, uh, yeah, that's my strongest strength. And then I had, I don't know why, I had a great knowledge for pitching. I have no idea. But I think a lot of it come from Al Lopez. My first year uh, in Tampa, he, Al would come over and visit him and Tony Cuccinello, and Al asked me, uh, do you mind if we, I said, Al, do I mind? I'd love to have you. And then I asked him one day, what could you tell me that would help me? He said, well, I couldn't help you manage, nobody can, but I can tell you this, never take your eyes off of your pitcher and never take your eyes off of the opposing pitcher and both of them will tell you when the party's over. Did you fool people? Maybe with your personality, people knew you were a, a, a gentleman, a guy to get along with you kind of, you, you, you've kidded about mangling the English language. Do you think maybe you fooled people and you're smarter than maybe a lot of people gave you credit for as a manager? Well, I'll tell you what, nobody was going to get in the den with me and outsmart me. They better save that. They don't even want to think about coming into the den with me. He got in the wrong house. That was a toughness then? No, my toughest thing was the fact that I, 
It wasn't tough. I knew I knew what I was doing, and I knew what was going on in this clubhouse, and I knew what each player could do and couldn't do, and I know each player that didn't want to be in the war in the seventh inning, and each pitcher that wanted out when it got rough, and each player didn't want to pinch hit when it got tough. See, that's the thing that was gifted to me. I knew. I could walk in a room, Hello. and when I left the room, you knew I was in that room. Mm -hmm. All right. That's that's very few guys can walk in a room, and then when they walk out, people say, "Ooh, that was him." That was him. Yeah, and and, and you know, 35 years ago, you came and people said, "Sparky, who?" But now. This, this many years later, I imagine you can't go anywhere and people, everybody knows you. Yeah, well, mostly, you know, especially the people around my era and, and you know, a little lower. I, I enjoy, like, at the airports when I'm there, I, I'm never lonesome. Mm -hmm. You know, some people <laughs> always come up and we talk. But um, I do think you, I will never change. If I came back, I wish I'm not going to. To manage, I would never change my way of me. See, this is the thing. Walter Olson told me this my first year, the Dartown man. He told me, he said, whatever you do, always be you. And I've, I, I've always been that way. I've never changed. I never changed from the day I walked in here to now. I'm not going to change. How can I change? Money ain't going to change me. I, I promise you that. A big home or something ain't going to change me. I, I promise you that. I am who I, you see. And you will always see it on Saturday or next Saturday. It'll be the same. A lot of people have said over the years, and I'm sure you've heard that, anybody could manage the guys in Cincinnati. So how was how important was it for you to be able to go to Detroit and have success in Detroit to show what kind of manager you were? Well, I think I think that was the one thing uh, that I wanted more than ever was to kind of go somewhere else because I wanted to show them and we we showed them. You know, we won when they had been finishing fifth, sixth, fifth, sixth every year. Uh, we had uh, we had some great years over there as far as winning. Uh, we didn't have a lot of great years as far as World Series, but uh, winning, we had a very good career. Last thing is life still good for Sparky Anderson? Yes, yes, and you know. The thing that I'll be very honest with you, life is so good for so many things that happened to me before 1970, but 1970 set off a bomb. Like I said, if you've never been here in Cincinnati and put on a uniform, you have never been in the major leagues. This is it. This is the ultimate city to ever manage.